Hello everyone! Today we're making this really easy and delicious lentil pasta salad. It's vegan, gluten-free, nut-free, soy-free, so good, protein-packed, and it's awesome for lunch, for Mother's Day, for meal prep. It's a great recipe. So we're going to start off by taking our lentils and boiling them in water. So I'm just adding three quarters cups of lentils into a bowl, cover them with a lot of water, add a little salt, and you're just going to boil them on high for about 40 minutes. You can of course use pre-cooked lentils. The Trader Joe's steam lentils would be really great in this recipe. Now you're going to prep your veggies. Of course you can add any veggies you like to this really so I did some green onion some red bell pepper and I'm just chopping everything up pretty small you know nice bite-sized pieces I'm gonna give a rough chop to some spinach then we're gonna add in some pickled jalapeno peppers this adds just like a nice sort of tanginess and spiciness I love it some cucumbers these are the cocktail cucumbers from Trader Joe's how adorable are these they're like little tiny cucumbers they're so cute so i just chopped those up nice and small and then i did some artichoke hearts since these were already tiny like this i didn't do anything to them just left them as they were and we're gonna take some olives these were pretty big so i didn't use all of them i used about 15 olives in case you didn't know this just save your olive juice water and then add in the olives you don't want to use put them in the fridge and that's how you preserve your olives and i'm just going to cut those in half because i just felt like it <laughs> for the pasta i'm using the bonza chickpea pasta i'm using the rotini one while the pasta is boiling let's make a super easy dressing so you're going to start by adding in your seasonings so i did dried oregano some red pepper flakes dried parsley and then we're going to add in garlic powder onion powder oh my voice just went out for a second and some salt and then for our liquid ingredients, we're gonna add in red wine vinegar. Then we're gonna do some lemon juice. We're going to add in some oil. Then we're gonna add in some tahini and balsamic vinegar. And use like a good balsamic vinegar for this. Add a touch of water and then just put the top on and give it a nice shake. I love dressings like this because they're super easy to make and of course you can customize it, you know. The nice thing about dressings like this is they're super easy to adjust. So I just went in with a little more lemon juice and some balsamic vinegar just to add a little more sweetness to it and then it was perfect. So at this point we're gonna assemble our pasta salad. I have the cooked pasta, the lentils, and just make sure you have a nice big bowl for this. This is a nice big pasta salad. Our bell pepper and then our cucumber. I love cucumber and pasta salads. The artichoke hearts, which are so nice. They're kind of like medium there. Green onion, the spinach, and the olives. I also cut up some vegan feta cheese. This is the one from Trader Joe's. I'm going to slowly add half of the dressing on. I like to add the dressing in batches. If you've watched my other videos where we add dressings and stuff like that, you know that I do this. I add half and then I'll give it a mix and then I add more just so that way I can make sure everything is really getting well incorporated into this but this is so easy and then the best part is you can just enjoy the pasta salad right now if you want once it's all done being mixed or you can pop it in the fridge so i'm just adding the rest of that dressing on there and i gave it one little taste and it tasted absolutely perfect and that's it now you have this delicious high protein vegan lentil pasta salad that is so good and the forward nut recipes on the blog like i said earlier check the description box the description box has links for everything if you like the video make sure to like comment subscribe share it with a friend it's so important for the channel to engage with the video and if you try it out let me know how it goes let me know what you think thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i'll see you next week with another video bye